welcome to Gary Vapes. And today we are looking at a new mod from Freemax, and this is the Maxus 2. Now I did do a review on the original Maxus, um, so I'll put a link in the description if you want to go check that out. But this is the new improved version. Um, before we get into the pros and cons, we've actually recommended it. Though. Let's dive down, let's talk a little bit more about it. I'll give you a bit more info. Okay, so here it is, the Freemax Maxus 2. Now, if you've not seen my video on the Maxus, it might be worth checking it out, but I've got it here, and as you'll see, it is this thing, and this is with the M Pro Tank 2 on it as well. Now, they did also do the M Pro 1 as well, or the M, I guess it would have been, because it wouldn't have been anything others to give it a number, but this has got the actual 3 on it, which, if you ask me, looks much, much better, and also the mod and everything, it just looks much more stylish. The original M1 and M2, they kind of a little bit cheapy looking but yeah i guess some people kind of like that that's when resin was all the rage but they've definitely updated it and made it a lot nicer for current times which is good to see um now before we go into the actual mod itself and tell you more about it we're zooming further for that but as you can see here i have got the rainbow one as far as colors go this is all super new at the moment, so there really isn't much out there to show you. I don't even know how many other colours there will be out there. Um, I'm imagining there'll be the black and the grey type finish at least, but whether there's more, I don't know. But when you say the colour, it's just this metal part that runs around here. Reason for that is when you push the button, you'll see that it is all LEDs, and there is LEDs everywhere on this thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm not exactly sure when it comes to colour, but there's quite a few things like that. But as you can see there, it uses the M Pro Free tank, which is the tank on top. And obviously I have got the rainbow, and it is the full spectrum vaping which they do on a few of their devices now it's very very clever and i really like it child resistant and it uses the fm technology coil so we'll talk about that more when we go down as well but if we open up now you will see there is a bit of e-liquid there the reason for that is i've kept this coil because i wanted to show you something and talk a bit more about that but i put it on top of the box and it went everywhere so apologies but inside it's as you would pretty much expect you get your little user manual warranty card warning stuff like that obviously you get your pods your mods some spare rings for the actual tank itself a little bag of silicone and then deep deep down inside here you do get a different coil and you get the type c charging cable now as far as coils go that what you actually get in this kit you'll get the 0 0.15 coil and also the 0 0.2 coil if i remember rightly in fact let me grab a piece of paper and i shall tell you there we go, get a bit sorted out here. So yeah, you'll get two different coils. In fact, I think it tells you on the box as well. Um, yeah, you get the M1D mesh coil, which is a 0 0.15, and then you also get the 904L M2 mesh coil, which is the 0 0.2. Now you may notice there, there's the M1 and the M2 coil. That's because this device, or this tank I should say, will use pretty much any of the M Pro coils and also some others as well but we'll talk about that again more when we go up but let's get into the actual deep dive on the mod itself so let's dive down even closer okay so yes as you can see this is it so you've got nice big airflow on both sides of the tank there as far as opening the tank where the little red button is you push it up and then push it over quite simply it opens up really really nicely nice big hole in there as well push it back over job done really like that it has got a removable drip tip as well if you want to change that but i actually really like this drip tip it's a nice size so yeah i'm quite happy with that the actual tank itself this one i believe is two mil but they obviously will do bubble glasses things like that so you'll be able to get your normal five mil depending where you are in the world um but yes apart from that it's made of an aluminium type zinc type finish it feels very very nice now this back panel is like a plastic but it's a very hard plastic so it's not got any giving it or anything like that and then you've got this exposed sort of circuit board look as well which i think is absolutely beautiful so as i said apart as the leds go as you can see there there's little cutouts inside this sort of carbon fiber panel and then through there you actually get the leds come through and it looks really really good you've also got the two great big bars at the front there as well so that is lovely to see as far as locking it as you expect with freemax they use this weird little button thing so that locks the whole device completely but you can just leave that on if you want to and if you push and hold the up and down button together it will lock basically these buttons and you can still actually fire away on it which is good to see press and hold them again and it will undo that and then as far as the actual menu system goes if i unlock it there we go so you push it three times that takes you through to their menu system and as you'll see there it lights up now there's three different sections in this sort of part of it so first off you've got power you select that and then you move to the right and as you can see there you've got your vpc your bypass your tc tcr and then back to power push it again then go down to this is kind of like your automatic draw settings i guess you'd kind of call it so inside there you've got normal you've got sport and you've got eco I've tried all three. I can't really tell the difference from any of them, really. The Sport seems to give you a bit more of a hit. The Eco pretty much seems like normal, so I've just left it on normal, if I'm completely honest with you. But three clicks again, and then we go to the last setting at the bottom, which is obviously settings. 
So down to settings, and this is where all the stuff is. As you can see there, there is timeout, theme color, LED on and off, LED control, Fahrenheit Celsius, reset puffs, time reset, reset and exit. And there's quite a lot going on in there. Here you can choose how long you want it to actually cut off in case of sort of thing and then the theme color inside here you can actually choose what color you want the actual writing as such to be so for example let's let's go with a nice pink for the moment so there you go now you see everything is pink and then you can go to leds on and off so you can turn them off if you're not a fan of them or if you just want to save yourself a little bit of battery but we're going to leave them on because i bloody love an led and then an led control this is where that full spectrum thing comes into it and it's really good and they've even split it between the front and the back which i absolutely love so in there you can have all these different settings you can have mode, waterfall, brightness, speed, multicolor, unicolor, all that lot. And you can do the exact same for the back as well. So you can have the front going like this, like this sort of waterfall sort of color. And the back, you can have it mixed up or just one color. You can have pretty much anything you want. Inside there, you can obviously choose between your Fahrenheit and your Celsius. You can reset your puff count there, which is dead easy, like so. And then obviously your time reset will mean that obviously it will reset your actual times in milliseconds that you had an actual draw for which i don't really get what that's about there must be more to that which i'm not quite understanding and then you've got a main reset as well if you want to reset it back to factory restore shall we say but that is pretty much all i can tell you about really as you can see there on the screen as well beautiful screen really really nice probably won't show up great on this actual camera but it's very very clear and very very nice i must admit i really really like it you've got your two battery signs at the top there your ohms of your coils wattages everything you need to know voltages the lot yeah i think it looks absolutely beautiful and when it first arrived and i see it and i thought rainbow color with leds and all this lot i thought oh god this is going to be safe for like three years ago but i actually think they've managed to pull it off i think it looks quite nice and feel wise quality wise it is very nice yeah i'm actually quite impressed with the actual build quality of this one but it has got some pros and cons as always so let's go up and let's have a chat about them okay so we're back up now and yes there it is the free max maxis 2 with m pro free tank on top um, yes, um, obviously this is an update to an older model and I think it's a much needed and a much better upgrade if I'm completely honest with you. As I said down below, I felt like the original ones were a little bit cheap, especially that M Pro 2 tank. A fantastic tank, by the way. Coils very, very good as well. But yeah, it just felt a little bit tacky and a little bit embarrassing to sort of take around with you. Um, but yes, I think it's much needed upgrade and I think it looks much, much better. I have actually really enjoyed using this. Now, I am a dual 18650 sub ohm tank type guy anyway I, I do love them sort of devices so when this turned up i was quite excited as well but um yeah and um, before we actually get to the pros and cons though just tell you a little bit more about it then so the device itself will go five from 200 watts and obviously you do get the two different coils the 0 0.15 ohm m1d mesh coil and the 0 0.2 m2 904l coil that's pretty much all I can really tell you about it. There is not much out there at all. As I say, as far as colours go, things like that, I haven't got a clue. So, yeah, hopefully um, they'll bring some more stuff out on that as we go along. Um, I will say, though, the coils don't seem to be out either. But it does seem like that M1D mesh coil is actually a different coil just renamed. Because I can find the M1 coil, but I can't find the M1D coil. But they're both 0 0.15 ohms. So I don't know whether that's just a, a slightly updated one and they're going to stop the old one or what. Um, but that does actually um, bring me on to its first cons, really. And that is both of these coils, the 0 0.15 and the 0 0.2 ohm coil, have lasted me about a week maximum, which isn't great, if I'm honest with you. Um, it has been slightly annoying. I mean, literally, I normally test devices two weeks. I'd like to make sure I actually get a proper test of them. I don't see the point in people releasing videos of them unboxing and stuff like that or using them for like two hours and then telling you about them. You know, the, these are things you can only find out by using a device for long enough. And that's the reason I generally don't always have the most up-to-date reviews and I may be a week or two behind because I'd rather not rush to get the views and the subscribers and to actually give you a, a genuine review on a on a product and yeah both of these coils were literally a week maximum in fact i had some older coils which we'll talk about in a minute about the coils about one of the biggest pros about this device and um, i had some older coils from the m pro 2 which i ended up using um so yeah it's a bit of a shame but it is what it is the coils last about a week which isn't great as i say um but i don't know whether that's just these two particular coils or not because from the older coils that i've used and things like that on the m2 and the m original m they seem to be fine, but I don't know if that's just because these new coils or what. But it is worth mentioning, both of them coils literally lasted me a week. And the only other thing, really, that is a con, which isn't a con, it's more of a personal preference, and that is that switch at the bottom. I'm not a fan of it. I just don't ever use it. 
Um, and sometimes it will get hit in my pocket when I'm at work or whatever and turn on and then all of a sudden I'll be confused to hell as why my device won't work. And I always forget it's there. But as I say, it's not really a con. It's kind of a good idea in its own way, but that's just something that I necessarily wouldn't want to have in my devices. Um, but that is pretty much all I can find that's wrong with it, really. As, as far as looks go, it's personal preference, I suppose. I actually think it looks freaking lovely. I really, really like the looks, but then again, I do love an LED, as you may be able to tell. Um, but bringing us on to the good things, and that is one of the good things for me, is the looks, I think, personally, it is really, really nice. I love that exposed circuit board look. I love the LEDs. The screen is fantastic. It is a very, very good screen. It is a screen that's been using Freemax stuff before, don't get me wrong. But it's a good screen, so why change it in my point of view? Um, but yeah, really, really nice. All the buttons are nice, clicky feel to them. The actual device itself, even the plastic bit around the back there, it's a nice, strong plastic. There's no giving it, no cheapness to it, nothing like that. The tank itself, really, really nice tank. All the threads work perfectly well. Getting in coils are dead simple, really easy. Love the filling system, really easy. You can do it with one thumb sort of thing or one finger. Yeah, I'm absolutely blown away with it. The drip tip as well, I really, really like. Quite often I can find with sub ohm tanks, especially newer ones, they can be a little bit too long or a little bit too short. This for me just is perfect. It really, really is. But then you can take it off and change it for something else if you so wish anyway. And as far as the batteries go, it's as you'd expect. Little clip on the bottom, pops out like so. You pop them in, job done. That mechanism works fantastic. There's no sort of pushing it or trying to get it to close with your thumb stopping it from sliding up and hinging properly. Works fantastic. Build quality, everything excellent with this. Really, really like it. Um, and that probably brings me on to its biggest pro, and that is the fact that this tank can not only use the M Pro coils, it can use the M Pro 2 coils, it can use the Firelux coils, it can use the Maxis Pro coils, it can use the Firelux Pro coils. So you really are, you know, in that ecosystem then. It's fantastic. If you own any of them devices, you can buy this and know that you can use them coils and rotate through them all. So, for example, if you love the fire look and you use a special coil that for you is the best coil ever and you want to buy a new tank but you're worried because you know oh you won't be able to use the same coil blah 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 you can buy this and still use that coil in it which i think is absolutely fantastic and um, i absolutely love that i love it when there's ecosystems anyway because obviously it helps save money at the end of the day you know making that upgrades more warranted and you know you haven't got to throw away a load of stuff to do so so yeah i think that's absolutely fantastic and i love the fact that they've actually built that into there and um, as far as flavors and that go off of generally all the coils that can be used in these devices they're normally fantastic let's be honest the fire look is one of the best tanks out there the m pro 2 as ugly as it was had great flavor great vapor production and these two coils, which again, I'm assuming they're new, because I don't know why they'd rename them. As I say, you can get the M1 0.15 ohm one, but now there's the M1D. So I don't know if that's a new coil, just a rebranded coil or what, but as far as flavors go of both of them that I've been using, they are absolutely fantastic. Now I've still got the 0.1 ohm, 0.2 ohm, sorry, coil in here at the moment. Now it is starting to go, so if I'm honest with you, it has a slight harshness to it, but I'll give it a puff for you to see the actual vapor production. Um, but uh, yeah, when they're working, the first five to seven days are fantastic. Been very, very good indeed. So let me give you a quick puff now. This is at 60 watts. Yeah, it's got a slight harshness to it, but again, flavor fantastic. Airflow in this tank, really, really nice. No whistles, no noises, anything like that. I say it's been in my pocket for two weeks, getting bashed around on building sites and that, and there isn't a mark on it either, which I'm very surprised about. I thought this sort of back plate thing might scratch, might get damaged, and I'm sure it will over time, don't get me wrong. Um, but from the two weeks of abuse that I've given it, there literally isn't a mark on it, not one single mark, which is quite extraordinary. But yeah, as far as flavours go, when them coils are in their prime and working well, they've been fantastic. They've just not quite worked long enough for me, but... Yeah, apart from that, I think it's really, really good. And again, it's got the LEDs, which I'm a big fan of. Now, as you see from down below, you can turn them off as well. So if you're not into that or, you know, they're a bit too bright or whatever it may be, you can dim them, turn them off, change the colour. You can do what you want. But I love the fact they're there and it gives you that little bit of versatility in there as well to have a play around with. So, yeah, I really, really like it. And to sort of explain to you how much I actually liked it, them coils did go. So I actually went out and bought my own coils out of my own money to put more in it because I've enjoyed using it so much and I'll probably continue to keep using it um, as my sort of go around the house type sort of vape. So yeah, I'm absolutely smitten with it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. 
Okay, well that's the end of the video. And yeah, it's as simple as that. I mean, literally I went out and bought more coils for it so I could keep using it. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it's an absolutely brilliant device. Um, enjoyed using it. Gives you exactly what you want. Gives you the hit you want. There's the customization you want, which is my simple kind of customization I want. You know, as, as good as a DNA chip is and all this lot. It's too much for me. I like to change the pretty colours and change the screen quite simply. Um, and that gives me exactly that. Um, it gives me everything I really need. In fact, the only thing it doesn't give me is the option to have a little wallpaper in there. I'd love to have my logo on there, but that is being quite picky. Um, but yes, apart from that, yeah, I'm absolutely blown away with it. I really, really like it. Um, I say I would maybe get rid of the little switch at the bottom, but I understand why it's there and some people like it. So that's the only thing really that I don't like about the device. But again, as long as it doesn't turn off without me noticing, then I forget it's even there. So it's not a problem. But you know, I absolutely love it. I really, really do. And I think if you own any of the older stuff, the M Pro, the M Pro 2, anything like that, then it's definitely worth an upgrade. If you own the Maxis as well, I think it's worth an upgrade. The Maxis was around when, as I said down below, resin was quite popular. Um, it's kind of dropped off the earth quite quite simply right lately I and mean, then it kind of looks old-fashioned so this really does bring it up to modern standards it's got the better stuff in it the better screen all the different stuff you want for inside it different modes different everything you could possibly ask for um yeah i think it's really good and the tank itself i think is a fantastic tank i really really do um it, it, it don't get me wrong it's not the best tank i've ever tried but with that ecosystem and with that sort of usability of them other coils and that in there, it really is pushing it close up to it. It's slightly behind the others, um, but with that back in it, it's, it's hard not to sort of recommend this one. In fact, it would be a kit that I would recommend to anyone that's looking for a Duo 650 kit. And as a tank, I probably would recommend it as well because of that ecosystem and saving money type thing and the sheer amount of coils out there that you can use in it. You, there is going to be one for you. So yeah, I love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. As always, these are honest reviews. I will only ever be honest. If I didn't like it, I would tell you. But yeah, I really, really like it. You may be able to tell. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.